only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that, you'll fry like a pork sausage. It's not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more uh, unpredictable. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, Freelance Police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Ooh! Ow! Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. You mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. Welcome back to Cooperatives, guys. I'm your host, Burtis. We're playing uh, Sam and Max. Hit the road. This is a classic childhood game of mine. I got it from a, a weird trade, something my sisters did when we were young, and we got it for PC. It was fantastic from what I remember, and I hope that it holds up and my memory is not completely skewed. It's... I mean, that intro you just watched is a pretty good segue for how much these guys actually know about police work, but they do manage to solve some crimes in the process of creating a whole lot more. But freelance police, what more can you expect? How's my aim? Call 1-800-STAR-WARS. I know as a kid I always wanted to call that number. As an adult, I still kind of want to call that number. I don't think it's real, but maybe we'll find out. Maybe I'll make Ben and I sit down and actually call that number since it's, you know, LucasArts month. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. Okay, so anyway, we're in their main office. Uh, it's, it's as much of a mess as you can expect a dog and a rabbit living together actually having. But there are some things that we should probably clear up. They don't care about anyone who they don't already know or care about. They really don't work for the police force as far as I can tell. Uh, they pretty much just exist to satisfy their own needs. And... This is all based off a series of comics that I think the creator's brother Hello? really did yes. make and yes. maybe publish. Yes. No, really? Well, the same to you, Max. This isn't like the Nothing Sierra games where you get points based, based off scoring, or you get scored based off whatever you do. This is more based off just whatever you can accomplish, it's going to satisfy the main story for the game. Which is kind of nice. Also, it's just nice little exposition for how fucked up these guys really are. So we're going to start this off by examining this rabbit. Little... Oh, no, we're examining Max. We're going to walk down a little bit so that I can explore that rat hole. Nope, I don't want Max. We'll walk over here. We'll see what's going on over here. Yeah, alright, so we got the sandwich that isn't going to actually accomplish anything other than making this all my ants happy. But I do see this little bulb I can pick up. It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare 60s posters. <laughs> his rare 60s posters. This would be more impressive in the dark. You're probably right. 
Well, in the meantime... I'd better turn it okay, off let's first. turn it off first. I love that they actually took the time to incorporate this kind of stuff in these games, though. I mean, Jesus, there's so much shit in this office that I could sit here and look at. I'm not going to, but I could. Just to satisfy my own nostalgia. But here we put a hand right in the rattle, and we got Sam stuffing his hand in there to grab a cash. Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. Slippery government officials. I don't think we can go up the stairs. Why don't go upstairs? Not since the accident. The accident we won't hear anything about. Yo, you want a piece of me? I just realized I don't have cash this turn though. Maybe I'll fix that before the next episode. Brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. Oh my. Oh, but it's happy. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Acumen. I... Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. <laughs> You're such an adorable urchin, Max. Good job, Max. I don't think that actually did anything for us, but they look cool. Alright, so there's a little ratty cat right here. Oh, it's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. I am repulsed by his bulging eyes. There's something I can do with him. I think I can talk to him. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Oh yeah, he's uh Maybe. Are he's you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kinda cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? There we go, Max. Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh, yeah, right. I think he swallowed it. Sorry, guys. I swallowed your yep. orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. It's okay. I know exactly how to fix this. We use our gratuitous sense of violence. I'd love to turn this guy inside out. Oh, that gives me an idea. Good job, Max. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we got nothing better to do, like any time. <laughs> no way. Vehicles will be stolen. At least they understand that and they respect that. That's that's good. Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's telling him, little buddy. Biff. Pow. Duff. I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. No. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. That's amazing. That's... Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that either. But I think that also sets up a scary uh, precedent that there were only captions on sound effects. We'll see if that maintains. But in the meantime, we're going to get into our uh, police car. Man, I would so drive this fucking car. It looks badass as hell. As hell. Motherfucker. Alright, so we can go to these stuckies. Which, if I hadn't picked up the cash, would have been the fucking burden of my eyes because I want everything that's in here. But they're they're even fun little mini games they have here. They don't really accomplish anything, but they're fun. Okay, and there's a little pony. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can pick up a board game from here. Totally can. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can grab these, which I think are candies. Yeah, they are. Okay, and then I don't think I can actually get anything else here. I gotta go to the bathroom. But Stuckies were always something that I didn't understand as a kid, and now as an adult, I do no wish they still existed. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? Uh. My little buddy has to use the yep. facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. Facilities They're be damned. Back. Here's the key. An awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah. We just <laughs> <have> <laughs> stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine Ooh, counties. Cleanest bathrooms in nine counties. The restrooms. 
You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle it myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Yes, I'm going to. I'd like to buy, buy these. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? I'll also take these disgusting pecan treats. Anything disgusting else? pecan treats. What can you tell me about these? That's a box of our world famous Snuckies pecan flavored world candy. Famous but Snuckies. Love treat of couch potatoes everywhere. Anything else? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Good. Now, we have to stop Max before he. Nope, nope. Oh, jeez. Uh, display text, huh? Holy shit. There we go. Well, I messed up. Max is gonna give those keys back. Easy key. Good thing he's a rabbit and he can go down right away. But we won't do that here. Good thing we're gonna get on the road for a while. Oh, we're in the south, so we got a crawfish. But there's another game I can pick up here. I think I can just pay for it like this. I'd like to buy this. Also, we have the same character who looks remarkably like our friend Bernard without any facial hair. I gotta go to the bathroom. Will that be all for you today? Voice is totally different though. That'll be all. Cool. Now, speak. I gotta go to the bathroom. That donut in the window makes me super hungry right now. I probably should have eaten before I recorded this. Alright, yeah. My little buddy has to use the facility. Facilities be damned. Here's the key. Oh, he didn't say it. I said it. You need some help, little Whatever. Buddy. For anyone wondering, it's the first real day of winter here in Chicago because it is snowing and it's beautiful. Alright, now I'm gonna cut ties with this fucker. I like their little skulls on that shelf back there. But yeah, first day of winter, it's beautiful outside. Everything is white. It's it's coming down in a nice, slow fashion, so it looks just like it would in, you know, my fantasies, I guess. I don't I don't really know. There we go. There we go. Are you as confused as I am? More so. I think we should keep the rat. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms. That's how I actually feel about certain rest stops when I go to. Well, that's all. Alright. So now that we've got the rest, we've got uh, two of games. We're just gonna hop into our car, hit this last Snuckies. And, oh, it's got a little cactus dude. Look how cute he is. Except he's not. Oh yeah, dress up. Or you can dress up Sam and Max. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Hooray! Now let's get the fuck out of here and get on with the story. These weren't necessary for anything other than I might just play them for my own fun later. So I'm sorry I had to sit through this. Now. Let's hit up the carnival. The Hall of Oddities. Weird. Creepy. Tom Nation and Blimey. They ain't well, Elvis impersonator. So now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for them, you idiot. I knew that. Uh. They're so smart. Get out of Mr. Bumpus way, ye partially clad varmints. Partially clad varmints. Who is that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecap. You get it, Max. You're a demonic little imp, Max. I think Max just kind of composed my inner anger as a child. And we're just gonna walk in here. Oh right, we get stopped by Flambo. Hey, what's the hold up? Sorry, boys, we are closed. We're closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece, and the tall one with the dark, squinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? Yeah. Don't you know who we are? I could not care less. Oh, that's... that's insulting. Let us in, holy old breath. 
Nope. Well then. I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. Well then. I guess I have to give him my police orders. I'll be back. I can hardly wait. Do -do. Wait, no. No. Yep. There we go. Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. Wish I was freelance police. Now let us in before Wish I also had kind of cool things on scrolls like that. Let me run these by the bar. Oh no! Fire breath set it on fire. Good thing too. Uh, I guess you can go <laughs> in. But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. Cannibals. <laughs> That was needlessly cryptic. It was carnival. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Oh man. Max is even scared. I doubt that very much. Everything seems to be in order here. Sam, look over there. Look over where? How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Yeah, but it's them. It's who? Oh man, they walk fun. Hi, I'm Chef Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. <laughs> What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocents. <laughs> Even cruelly <laughs> twisted ones such as yourself. So, whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. I don't think we can walk that way. See this melted block of ice? How could we miss it? Of course. This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? Don't be dense. Well, ice by nature is not dense. Was it genuine? Authentic? Real life? Bigfoot? On ice? Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does That's a hurt? good question, Max. But Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. Scranton. That's in Pennsylvania. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free corn dogs, so we can yuke all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Yeah, that's a good magic trick. Leave Earl. everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Quran. Quran. That, that, Didn't he fight? I don't know how long that is. All right, we're gonna put the pass in the bag. Gonna step over this way. Gonna go yoink. I can't open. But I can jar. pick up the jar. All right, good. Got that done. We're gonna pick up this Bigfoot here. This is a completely unusable I th thing. I think I can look at this guy for something. He looks. Oh, delicious. he just looks like he wants to eat him. That's right. Man or chicken dumpling? I also like the human enigma. It's confusing, but I like it. Okay, now. I think I can come over here. I can pick up. I don't think my head needs to be inflated beyond its already grotesque. Okay, I can just pick it up, put it in my bag. Gotta play whack a rat. I can't no, but I can up. use it. Oop, Max doesn't count. Good to know. Whoa. Got hit 20 rats. Jesus, I'm not doing good. This always amused me as a kid that they had real rats inside here. Or at least good enough animatronics that they look real. It 
It's also amusing how resilient Max Head is. But I think this is a game we can all agree with. You know, sometimes you just want to pick up a mallet and hit your friend in the face. Oh yeah, I did win. Cool. 23. Winner. 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 Yeah. Now, let's grab it. Put it in here. Now I think I can... Uh, let's examine it first. Hey, this crummy prize doesn't come with any light oh. bulb. Well, it's a good thing we snagged this light bulb out of Max's closet. It fits perfect. Good. Good, good. Now let's walk over here. We're gonna ride the Cone of Tragedy. I wonder what his tattoo says. I heart Y L Rabbit thing? Excuse us. We need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain wise, we've come to you for advice. Man, that audio is suffering for some reason. Huh? Let's ride the cone of tragedy. Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right, we've lost our will to live. I'm not supposed to, but what the heck? You two look like a couple of caring, non litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. The cone! I like that he trusts us to strap ourselves in. This looks like a lot of fun when I was a kid. I'd probably still ride the shit out of it. I feel like it would just make my back crack in all the right places. And maybe some bad ones too, I'm not really sure, but it feels like it'd be fun. Yeah. So much fun. Don't kick me. There we go. I guess my heart stopped. Little douche. I appreciate the extension cord just running across the grass, too. Oh, I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my Tragically body. empty. Let's huh. I wonder what that means. Maybe later, chum. Let's, uh... Oh, no. Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? No! My shit! You took my shit! Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? What's wrong? My shit's gone. Where'd all my cool junk go? You must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Good. At least you're gonna help me with my lost and found shit. Now, gotta remember where the lost and found shit is. I think it's over here. Also, I don't think I can play ski ball. Where the fuck am I going? There we go. Well, I can. I think I can use Max to ring the bell. Holy cripes on toast! Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developer's conference. Ah. Have you Fernie. lost something? I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up your obvious physical Jesus. shortcomings. Jesus. You were just not the nicest person. Have you got it? Sure. Wait here while I search through the back room. Well, here's all the stuff we've collected off the cone of tragedy today. Oh man, they just gave it to me. That's good. I feel whole again. Now let's see what else I picked up. Uh, fish magnet. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says "World of Fish" on it. Yeah. Screen. I wonder how that got in there. Uh-oh. Well, cool, we can go to the World of Fish now. Which is good, because I don't know how much else we can do in here today. Uh, I, yep, we can ride this, uh, Tunnel of Loneliness, or whatever it is. Oh no! Well, I guess that explains the awkward noise we heard. Well, 
uh, I guess that makes it all for today. I'll get us back here, and I'll see you guys next week. Catch you later. Bye.